Hi, my name is David Smith. I'm with Nivis out of Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm at the Honeywell North America User Group Conference in Phoenix, Arizona. It's June 18th, and we from Nivis are here demonstrating the newly approved ISA 100.11a D2A technology. We're doing that demonstration today with a number of vendors that we're working very closely with to bring this technology to market. And I'd like to walk you through uh, the various vendors and show you the different devices that are, are part of this demonstration. And then we'll do a brief overview and a quick demonstration of the system. On the far right here, we have a wireless adapter from Accutech. This, is a, a, this adapter will take any wired heart device with stranded heart diagnostics over the air through the ISA cloud, connect that device to a heart application. We also have two valve sensors, one from Accutech, another one from FlowServe. And again, both in integrated with the ISA 100.11a radio will allow an application to determine whether they're open or closed or somewhere in between. We've got two different devices from Yokogawa, a pressure transmitter and a temperature transmitter. Uh, we've, and then we've got two devices from Honeywell, a temperature transmitter here on the far right, and this digital output device, which has a fan attached to it, which is part of the demonstration we'll be showing you in just a minute. All of these devices are battery powered and communicate over the air to the Nivus uh, VR900, which is our gateway and backbone. And they're all controlled through a system manager, which also serves in a, as a security manager. Now, as part of this demonstration that we're doing here at the conference, we've got a graphical user interface, which we're uh, displaying here on the screen. Uh, the Nivus system manager on the home screen provides us the ability to have a depiction of the network uh, once it's established. Uh, in this particular screen, you can see the network topology that's laid out here. This allows us to depict in a graphical uh, user uh, format the, the, the layout of the mesh. So as you can see here, the various sensors that we've uh, attached to the mesh are showing connectivity back to our gateway box. Uh, as I hover over this specific device, it gives me the device name. We get some uh, information like the address of the particular device. And then you can see the path that those devices are communicating over. Um, one of the things that's unique that I'm going to show you in just a moment is that we can actually establish a local relationship between various devices that, that are unique to that, those two devices. And we establish a contract that allows those two devices to communicate uh, s specific information uh, to uh, turn them on and off uh, automatically without having to bring in the local part of the network. Uh, in addition, over here on the right-hand side, you can see we've got addressing, uh, we've got device type, sensor type, we can include the vendor name, um, we've got status if they're registered or unregistered, and then uh, it, you can actually include a depiction of the uh, device itself. Now, in terms of the demonstration of this local loop, uh, we've got two different devices, as I mentioned earlier, the Yokogawa pressure transmitter and the Honeywell digital output with a fan that's connected. And for purposes of the demonstrating this closed loop, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the pressure on this pressure transmitter, and I'm going to do that by opening up the valve. And as the pressure on this transmitter drops down below the threshold that we've established, it will automatically turn on the fan. As you can see, that fan comes on. This is totally outside of the network. And then as the pressure is then increased uh, on the pressure transmitter, as the system comes back online, uh, the fan will automatically turn off. And you can see how that's happening. Again, this is being done totally outside of the, uh, the control of the gateway. It's a relationship we've established with thresholds between the two devices. The, the other thing that's unique about this is both of these devices one from Yokogawa, one from Honeywell. So we've got true interoperability among vendors. Uh, anyway, that get, brings me to the conclusion of what we wanted to share with you today. ISA has a tremendous number of new and exciting uh, features that are going to be coming out as the standard is, uh, evolves. So ISA 100.11a, 
the D2A technology is here today. More to come. We hope to have a chance to work with, uh, with you in the future. Thank you very much.